Fluid mechanics is very beautiful. Let me show you why. I have a funnel and a ping pong ball. What would happen if I put the ping pong ball inside the funnel and start blowing in this direction? Well, you're going to tell me because of the force that I'm putting on the ping pong ball, the ping pong ball is going to go higher like this. But let's see what happens. I am blowing so hard, but the ping pong ball doesn't move up. It just rotates. Why does that happen? Well, we can explain that using principles of fluid mechanics. Let me show you. In Bernoulli's equation, P is pressure, V is velocity, and Z is elevation. And the summation of pressure head, velocity head, and elevation head is always a constant number. Bernoulli's principles state that when pressure increases, velocity decreases, and when pressure decreases, velocity increases. So there is an inverse relationship between pressure and velocity. Why is it important for our experiment? Let me show you. This is a schematic figure that shows our experiment. This is the funnel, and this is the ping pong ball. I blew inside the funnel in this direction. Because the diameter of this tube is smaller than over here, and let's call this point point A and this point point B. Because the diameter is smaller, velocity at point A is larger than velocity at point B that has the larger diameter. According to Bernoulli's principle, when velocity increases, pressure must decrease. So I can tell you that pressure at point A must be less than pressure at point B. Now, if I want to show you that pressure at point B is like this, which is larger than pressure at point A, which is like this. Because this pressure is larger on top of our ping pong ball, the larger pressure is going to keep the ping pong ball inside the funnel. No matter how hard you try to blow the ping pong ball off, it doesn't move up because the pressure on top of it is way higher than the pressure over here. Isn't that beautiful?